If you could teach your cat a trick, what would that trick be? Um, spinning around in circles. That's easy breezy. We could do that. Now you've got some kitten food here. Yeah, I do. Lovely. Okay. First, all we're gonna do is make it so this sound means I get food. Click. The scientific term for clicker training is actually operant conditioning. And what we're trying to get Thelma and Louise to do here is to associate the click and the treat with the behavior that we're trying to accomplish. The key is that between the clicker and the treat, it has to be one second because then the cat goes, oh, that sound means I did something right. There it is. You see what happened there? She heard it and she's like, wait, food. Let's see if she'll do this. And then as soon as she makes this circle, click, treat. That's it. That's all you gotta do. If you do this three days in a row, let's say, do it for five, 10 minutes at a time, done. They're trained. Done. And then you're gonna be able to use the word, spin or turn or whatever. Okay. One step at a time. Now, cats doing tricks like Thelma spinning is fun, but I'm hoping that Calvin eventually takes clicker training to a deeper level down the line, like getting into a carrier. This is gonna be magical, buddy. Jackson teaches me that you just click and feed the cats. Good to see you again, buddy. Good to see you too. <laughs> All right. Take care. You too. It was great Thank to see you. Thank you very All right. much. Take care, guys. Every time I look at these two kittens, I think about the trip they've been on. And now knowing they've got each other for the rest of their lives, and they've got Calvin, I mean, come on. We're standing here in the mountains with these two kittens who could have been dead in the streets of Los Angeles. What a blessing, right? <laughs> yeah.